Mark, and I want to ask Bob too, before you decided to do the five-year jump, uh, there were other things you were considering to shake up the show, to, to kind of shock us. What well, else were you? Mark actually receiving? came in with a 10-year jump. Huh. And then I went, oh, I have actresses. <laughs> 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 so we count, we countered with one year, and then we kind of met in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think that happens in the writing staff though all the time, which is we want to do things we don't want to be stayed. We try to think of inventive things to do. So so, uh, you know. And, uh, and one of the things that Mark said, which I thought was smart, was let's do this now when we're still riding high. And the ratings, and it won't seem like a, like a move out of desperation, but it will seem like a, a creative uh, just, choice. Yeah, and, and you guys were, you guys were, went along with that. I didn't, you, oh, I loved it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I, because really the 10 year jump, uh, the reason I said 10 years at first was I was thinking mostly about the children, uh, uh, the Flicka's children on the show, because I thought, well, you know, teenagers, we could get a whole bunch of more storylines. So by doing five years, I, I, fudged a bit, you know, the kids are probably a little taller and bigger than they should be on um, the new cast, although we have some fantastic kids who have joined us and I'm so pleased with them. But it was really just trying to find something that would, you know, I wanted to go back to what the pilot was, which was smaller problems. I'm some, uh, the, the most difficult part of doing this show is I don't like it when the kind of the soap takes over and it, sometimes the ball gets away from you, you know, the, it's rolling down the cliff. And I like it when the problems are very small and real and relatable, and I liked starting the women at just very small places at the beginning of the season, and uh, and for me personally, it was it was terrific because you know I got to shock everyone. We got to make Eva Longoria unattractive, which is so impossible, <laughs> um, and uh, just for all the women had new storylines where we were getting to do new colors, and so it just became a, a really fun thing for the writing staff where we didn't feel we were doing the same thing over again, um, and it actually came out. And I'm always honest about these things. Um, Lost had gotten so much attention from fans and critics for their flash forward. And I was really kind of talking with my writers going, we need to do something out of the box like that, something just shocking. And, and I love Damon and Carlton who run that show and I, I have so much respect for them. And I, we really started talking about various things and then, and then the idea, the idea came, came up and you, know, and, and you guys calmed me down and pulled yes. me back from 10 years and then we, we did it. Do you anticipate another? Big jump or something else? You know, well, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe that last episode they'll all be eighty. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I think that. You always wanted to recreate Golden Girls. Yeah, right? I, it's all about getting back to the Golden Girls. For me, quite frankly. <laughs> um, you, you know what? I, I've done that gimmick, and I, I hope I can just come up with something else to, okay. to keep everyone on their toes and, and surprise surprise everyone. Because I, I want. I, to me, the series is always just about the relationship of four women, and then a dead woman who's looking at them. And, that, and as long as I keep that thing, I, I don't mind different permutations or, or mixing it up. But, uh, but I, I don't, I don't, I'll try not to go back to that well again. I think I've done it.